Welcome to the Old Luminous Channel. I'm going to uh, do a little video here about adding uh, 7135 chips, little chips to these uh, uh, 7135 drivers. Uh, they're uh, they're pretty difficult. I've always thought they were pretty daunting, but I've I've gotten to where I can do them, and uh, I'll go through. Uh, I just did one chip here on this board and. I'll go ahead and put another one on here just to uh, show you. Um, so I've got the driver board, I've got a chip, I've got a pair of needle nose pliers and these are smooth jaw uh, and very small thin needle nose pliers. Um, I have some uh, uh, Radio Shack 6040 rosin core solder, 032 diameter. Um, I have uh, some soldering flux, some rosin core flux, or rosin flux. Uh, I have a, a real small paintbrush, uh, which I use to paint on this stuff. Um, I have, uh, uh, the, the, the flux is the biggest thing for me. Uh, if, you, if you put uh, some flux down there and get them coated really good, solder flows on real easy. If you don't, it's, it's just a mess. Um, I have uh, one other little thing, which is a pair of hemostats. Uh, you find these in the medical industry. Okay, my wife was an RN, so she, she has a lot of this stuff. These little hemostats have uh, sort of like toothed jaws, and when they close up, they don't close all the way to, you know, I mean, they're, they're, there's this gap in them. Well, that works out really good for uh, doing these drivers because you can get in here and just just lock them down just like that lock those chips right on the driver and solder them in place it works really good for that um, of course I also have the soldering gun uh, my soldering uh, gun is, is, is set at uh, oh, about 650 and I'm using a, a real fine point tip um, so the very first thing I'm going to do with this chip is I'm going to go ahead and, and bend these prongs. Uh, I get them in the needle nose and uh, it's not the simplest thing in the world but I get them in the needle nose pliers and then I take my thumb and I, I just start down on the, the legs with my thumb and get them, get them going down and then usually I just take them and, and put it against a flat surface and uh, get those legs bent down where I want them. Okay. Um, just get them bent to a 90 degree angle. All right, then I got to take and put that onto that driver board and uh, I'll go over here on this side and, and throw one. You know, I mean, you know, you know, it doesn't have to be like in sequence or anything. All these chips are all running off the same circuit. And it's a real royal pain to get, <laughs> to get these little suckers in place. I, I just always have so much fun with these things. Now I've got that chip in place and I'm going to take these hemostats and uh, I may have to move it out of camera range, I don't know. I'm going to take these hemostats and I'm going to clamp that ship in place. And uh, I think you can see there how that is set up. I've just clamped that ship right into place and hold it tight and then I can take it and put it in my vise. And I'll try to do this where you can see it and, and I can still do it. Um, it, it can be difficult uh, trying to do it in front of a camera. Um, I have the the uh, little brush now, and I'm going to put some flux down on this uh, board. And I'm I'm just loading that flux on there. I'm not worried about just putting a tiny amount. I want some flux on there, so I'm going to load it right on there. Then uh, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and get my soldering gun ready. Uh, I've wiped off my tip so it's nice and shiny and nothing on it. 
and I'm going to try to get just a very tiny bit of solder on this tip. I'm just going to try to get ooh, just a little, that might be a little too much. Okay. Uh, I might, if I get too much, you know, I just take and wipe it off and do it, do it back again. There we go. Okay. So I'm just going to take and, and normally I would go straight with the, the pins, but I'm trying to show this on the, on the video. So I'm going to go sideways on it and I'm just going to put my iron down there and it's soldered together. Okay, it only takes a second with a good hot iron and with flux. When when I get that hot iron in there with just a tiny bit of solder, and um, once that that iron hits that flux, it just flows right up those pieces. Okay. Um, the problem is, like I say, I'm doing it from the side, and that's not the easiest way to do it. Okay, looks like two out of three are good. Third one, I'm not not a hundred percent. Happy, there we go. Happy about. All right. That takes care of the soldering. That's that simple. And I, and I know it. it <laughs> I know it's not that simple. Uh, these things are tiny. It takes a lot of practice. But uh, you, you just got to remember to use quite a bit of flux. Don't be afraid of the flux. You know, rosin core is not going to hurt the electronics end of it. Not going to hurt the parts. Uh, acid core wouldn't be a good thing. Um, and then use a, an iron, a good hot iron with a real fine tip and just a tiny bit of solder on the on the tip of that iron. And all you got to do is really just walk right down in there and touch in them. Now, like I said, and I'll try to show you this, what I usually do when I'm, when I'm doing it is to go like this, straight up and down. I did it sideways because I wanted to show you or try to show you how I did it. But normally I'll take my iron and I'll go straight up and down on a pin like that and just dra drag the solder across it like that. Okay. Um, that's it really. That's all, that's all I got to tell you. That uh, uh, The two major things to me are the, the flux and this little hemostat. You can find these hemostats in any uh, medical supply online. Heck, I think you can probably find them on Amazon, probably on eBay. You can probably find some, some knockoffs somewhere. But uh, these, little, uh, these little things are just uh, fantastic for working with some of these small parts. Uh, and that's all I got to say. Thanks for watching.